Hello, hello, everybody, and a nice welcome to all of you. We're going to play some Nadir. Welcome to hell. This is something I've been waiting for since quite some time, and, uh, well, it's a roguelike deck builder. It plays in hell, and it has some really cool artwork and some really cool mechanics. It's early access, and we're going to go through this here a little bit together and see how far it'll take us. So, let's see, haven't I unlocked this character? <laughs> so, he's still shown as locked, but I can't play him. Yeah, gotta love your early access, but we're going to play John first, and uh, then we're going to go on over to another character. So, our first adversary, we have only unlocked this first one. Let's go to hell. How about that? So, here our goal is to get down to the bottom of things. Down there is a uh, is the boss fight, and uh, we have to win always one fight per circle, and then we can go further. So, he is our first enemy. So the cool thing about this game is the enemy does nothing until I force them to. So here's the enemy actions. Here's my actions. I can only play blue on blue, red on red, and once these bubbles are filled, the enemy goes pop and does whatever is standing on the card. It's a pretty cool concept and uh, a lot more fun than I originally thought. So let's do some slashing. Yeah. Go. Now he's going to shield himself, negating the next attack, and the card flips. So now I can only bring up the red effects. 20 damage on that thing. Oh, owie. So we're going to use this. One block. And, uh, yeah, why not another block? And here goes the enemy. Hurting us a bit. And let's see. There's 15 damage incoming, 20 damage incoming, or some shielding for a bad dude. I'd say we're gonna be going like this. One fat blow for 15, making him shield himself. In response, I'll negate that with a double slash. Shield's down now, because shields always absorb only one blow, no matter how strong it is. And uh, then we're going to go for one shielding by ourselves about that and don't take any damage yeah. combat so uh, rage makes my attacks stronger and uh, well that would be a stupid move so we're gonna we're gonna hurt that thing as long as I can that is so next attack will be a killing blow <laughs> if I can bring up a new attack that is so, well, whatever. We have to do this. Yeah, I know I triggered two cards at once, but, uh... Things like these happen, but I win this now. Goodbye, little maggot. So, loot. We have temporary loot, we have permanent loot, and we get cards. So, what do we have here? Add two Holy Strike to hand. Deal breaking damage. Now, that's tasty. And, uh, well, let's see. Per redemption gives me protection. Gain counter, apply to rage. Uh, yeah, well, I don't like to enrage my enemy, thank you. Mercy, heal... 20 damage? Huh. Brilliant. I didn't know, but I can't have a healing effect, so we take that. And, uh, well... I'll pick up Redemption while I'm here. Yeah. Okay. So far, these uh, aren't too appealing to me, so let's just go for another fight. None of the effects that I drafted do I want to add into my deck right away. Well, I cannot do the one thing, and I don't want the other thing, that is. So, Mr. Beggar. Mm. Let's do this. 
And uh, I want that, Perry. The thing is, uh, whenever a card has two um, blue or two red marks, I can only play them if there are two or two uh, two blue or two red cards there. So there's a pretty uh, spiffy dynamic in this game, where you really you can really uh, confuse yourself. And uh, this game uh, this game is pretty uh, complicated. But in a good way. If you like this kind of game, this uh, this is really some good stuff. Gabu, hey there, welcome. How's my day going? Pretty decent so far, I gotta say. But thanks for asking. Hope you're having a good Monday so far as well. As good as Mondays can be. So let's go. White slash. Why not? So I don't need to worry too much about the incoming damage. Because I do have armor to boot with. Every fight, Jean starts with 20 armor, so you can tank some blows without being too worried about that. Alright. The first enemies are a joke, always, so. Gain 5 rage, gain 5 bleeding. Okay. So, a character with bleeding loses 1 HP for each point of bleeding after playing a card. I don't care. I'll just combine that with my healing spell. So... Divine Intervention. Breaking damage is pretty cool because it bursts through um, shields. Hmm. But I'll take the time slash. That's bursting through armor. You need both. Uh, let's go and uh, create ourselves a new card. So, I want Mercy. That'll heal me. And uh, I want Enrage. That'll make me bleed. So, we can do both now. Enrage is pretty massive. Uh, creating 5 Rage makes every one of my attacks five, sp 5 points stronger. And that's quite a lot. So, let's bring these things here together too. Here we go. Deck editing in this game doesn't cost you anything. That's what I like about it a lot. <coughs> so, next Circle of Hell certainly has harder enemies. It's always like that. The deeper you go, the uh, the worse the enemies. Alright. Okay. So, 18 damage. That would be one card where I want to be shielded against. So, we want to trigger that one first. Damage and decay. All right. I only have cost two cards here, so let's give him a good slam. That's a nice welcoming. Let's do that one more time. Also, cards that cost two energy also make two pips on the enemy cards, so gotta be careful around that. So let's take that. Decay uh, deals three damage to me per turn, and uh, lowers per turn. Pretty simple mechanic. Nothing unusual back then. So breaking damage, that would ignore my uh, shielded effect. So we're going to soak up this attack with the shielded. So instead of taking damage, I use up that counter and boom. So, um, well, mercy ain't that interesting if you're not damaged. So. I don't have any shields available unless I pop that thing for a shield. That would be stupid though. So we're going to. That's whatever. Let's take some damage to deal some damage. Yeah, it came out like. Oh. So. Shield ourselves. Ah. Uh. Cats being annoying down there. Okay. So. You human, it's dirty here. Clean now. We are not living here with the cats. The cats are living here with us. That's the fine line that you learn when you have cats. That there is. Uh, there is no such thing as your apartment. It's the apartment of the cats. 
Right on. That's a victory again. Simple, easy. The enemies are quite easy to beat at this point. It gets worse the deeper we go into the game. Reckless Charge. Deal 24 damage, gain bleeding. Since I have a self-healing effect, I want to see how far I can take this. And Sinner's Prayer gives me shield and uh, gives me a weakness um, stack in return. So, that's okay. Let's create one more card, and then uh, we're going to start to replace things. Alright. Let's see how that'll play out. I really do enjoy this game a lot. For its uh, complexity and uniqueness and pretty fancy art style, too. So, let's open up the fight with some rage. I'll trigger that attack, that's fine. But rage empowers my attacks, so the double slashes of mine hit, quite, hit a lot harder this way. So, <laughs> I don't want to trigger that card. I don't want to have 24 damage without any, uh, any shields, so i go for that one. So, and now off for one parry and, uh, okay. or so I thought. So, you can also preview what these, uh, what the enemy cards are. So, I could have known that. Problem here is, if I go for the parry now, it'll just get soaked by this uh, card, which sucks. So, this guy's outplaying my parry. Well, then let's give him some pain. I mean, I shouldn't worry that much about, uh, about uh, the enemy damaging me. After all, I roll character skill to heal myself, so... Let's do this. And so bleeding goes directly on the HP, just like the name would apply. And, uh, yeah, wonderful. Let's uh, stack up more armor, because that's what I want to do while I'm bleeding. Ah, whatever. Doesn't matter too much when you are able to just one shot the dude. 48 damage. Oh. So wonderful. I do like that reckless charge. I do like that sinner's prayer. Let's focus on these a little bit more. So I'm gonna reconstruct and let's edit one of these. There we go. That's one thing I do like about this game. You can, on the fly, reconstruct your stuff without worrying too much about that. No costs, no uh, things where you need to juggle around and uh, <coughs> think about if you can now remove a card or not. So, breaking damage, weakness, weakness, rust, shields. All right. So this guy is good at degenerating uh, or or deteriorating my shield or my armor, I should rather say. Breaking damage goes through shields, so he's pretty good at uh, going through defenses in general. So what we're going to do? I got mercy on my hand, but that's uh, only good if we turn it red. So let's work with that. Give myself some shields. Oh yeah, two shields are good. And, uh, well, Slash, I hope I get another one energy card, wonderful. So here goes, boom. And let's deal 15 damage, I dig that. And now one reckless charge to finish that thing off. taking some damage, but that's okay. It's totally my plan. Alright, do I really want to in uh, introduce more bleeding? Yes, yes, no, no. It's not worth it. This guy is almost done, and uh, I think it would be really a waste of valuable resources. Let's 
let's stack up some more shields. And finish up that guy. Hopefully, that is. Oh, well, maybe I would... I, I didn't need the rage, eh? Oh, yikes. Okay. Whenever I think I start to understand this game, it, uh, it shows me that I don't. I consider that actually as something good. Because most of the uh, deck builder games nowadays bore me to death because they there's nothing uh, innovative, nothing interesting about them. This one does play in a different uh, ballpark. So, I need to kill this guy somehow. Ah, oh, yeah, he had a reckless charge. It's more like it. Oh, he, he has shields himself. I didn't pay attention. Curse me. Oh boy, that was bad. But now we're done with the with the shields, at least something. But now I can only deal damage while suffering a lot of damage, but such is life. Life is pain, I guess. I haven't played across the obelisk, no. That's one game on my list that I mean that I meant to play, but uh I didn't uh, get to it, the price tag was a little bit high and the devs didn't react when I asked for a key, so that's how it went down the gutter. So, delay counter, delay shielded. I hear people talk a lot about that one, though. That's something I do notice. So I think I screwed myself up royally with that deck. I don't think that this was a good uh, combination to pick up, but uh, we'll uh, we'll still try. W where am I? Okay, I, I shouldn't have scrolled the mouse wheel. So, guys, early access is fine and dandy, but if you can move between these uh, circles, there should be a button that gets me back to the uh, circle of hell where I was at the, uh, the last time would be appreciated. So let's see if I can beat a swarm of flies or, uh, well, I, I think I'll find out what this will go down. Now then, so they got disease that cramps up my hand with unwanted cards. Piercing damage goes through the armor. <coughs> <coughs> and, uh, well, the damage is altogether quite low, but it has a tendency to ignore armor. Alright, didn't see any breaking uh, things, so we're going to go for a parry. And then... Let's... Uh, hack away. Piercing damage gets eaten by the shields. And, uh, alright, our first application of mercy, why not? healing is pretty powerful, gotta say. Did take some damage, but still a net gain of 15 HP, so... Nothing bad about that. Alright. Alright, so, uh... Well, Gabu, I think it's about time that I follow all those recommendations. That's what I think. So, why does that guy have all of a sudden such a... so much more damage? Ah! Because of rage? Where did the rage come from? Did I enrage that guy somehow and I didn't notice? Hmm. Well... Like I said, this game has really some uh, some complexity on it that uh, makes me always surprised about how <laughs> much of a hard time I have understanding that. But that's a good thing. The only question that I have, and that's where I'm not too sure about yet, is 
is it is it really fun in the long run? That's what I'm trying to uh, find out. I haven't uh, played this game too much, but uh, yeah, well, a lot of people are pretty burnt out on deck builders these days. That's one thing I I totally noticed. The uh, interest in that uh, genre has uh, gone down by a lot. I totally agree on that. I mean, I I don't see that as a big surprise. But, uh, like, uh, projects like these are worth the time, if you like that kind of genre. But I think um, the, the real big problem is that, uh, the I'll just say, the, the stories have, have been mostly told. And uh, innovations like these are really co cool if you are into card games. But for somebody who's not too much into card games, these games grow more and more abstract and uh, confusing to the point where like yeah but where's the fun about that so i totally understand that so i'd say we're, we're going to go back home and uh, keep our resources because that deck ain't, ain't working at all i'm still trying to find out how the hell you make something that works out in this game but uh, you know how the hell is just the right motto for this game so exalted crypt we can't unlock damned reward notes i hope they're better than their name or we can unlock more caught rewards for vlad come on let's uh let's build tutorial content text i'm oh, sorry so let's uh go and play the other character a bit i was really excited to try that one out because i gotta say the artwork of this game is certainly very very special and uh i I do like it a lot. And the uh, way that you uh, control the enemy's actions here is actually pretty cool. I do like it that it's in my hands what the enemy does, and not so much about um, some random thing deciding what kind of uh, action the enemy will take next turn. This <laughs> game is, in this regard, totally deterministic. Except for your own draw pile, you can foresee every turn in I don't know how many uh, turns in advance. That's a pretty cool thing. That's, um... I feel like I got a lot of uh, agency in the in the way how the how, how this goes down and uh, how the enemy behaves and the like that's pretty cool but uh what i personally right now i wouldn't say don't like but uh, what's really troublesome for me is the uh, complexity of this one so precise uh, critical hit has a hundred percent chance to critical hit with its next attack card okay let's do this Each attack reduces by one, so I, be I bet that critical attack means double damage. I'd be very surprised if not, but this guy has a shield on him, so he's cheating. I'll have to break that shield first, and it's eating up my crit charges. So... Okay, that was uh, removing the crit charge, but there was... Uh, that didn't really look like a critical hit to me. Not at all. <laughs> so I ain't got any armor, unlike Jean. So... Uh, that situation now sucks. So let's do a redraw and hope for some better times. Yep, double slash. He's shielding himself a bit, and uh, hard flip happens. But redraw is also a very important mechanic in this game. Alright, only one more attack we need. That's good. Good. No damage taken, but uh, so far this dude looks worse than the uh, last one. But let's see, maybe the cards here are better. Apply bleeding. Mmm, I like Claw, apply bleeding. Ah, yeah, all right. We're we're about damage over time things. Replace two cards. Stealth. A stealth card will not trigger the enemy reaction written on the enemy card if the card would be activated. 
Whoa, I want that. Sounds pretty decent. Sounds like I can flip over the card without paying the price. I better try that. Alright, so uh, probably this character is more fun than the other one. Maybe I didn't like Jean too much. I mean, with Slay the Spire, I gotta say, until this very day, I love Slay the Spire for all it is, but I hate the first character class that you have to play. I really don't like the character at all. This deck sucks, in my opinion. I tried to like it for a damn long time. I, 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 I tried everything. I just like him so much that I even forgot how what his name is. Seriously, I don't get it together, but you know, you guys know what I mean. And um, maybe it's here the same thing, who knows. So, devouring damage. Um, attacks will heal, unblocked by armor. I figured that uh, this might be a scheme if I am not featuring any bigger amounts of armor to boot with, that I might be that kind of type who likes to bite, especially if your name is Vlad. And, um, this, this game rocks the historical person, so it is THE Vlad, not, not some Vlad, it's THE Vlad. He's not in the best shape anymore, though, but uh, I guess that's what hell does to you. Alright, so let's slap up more armor. Yeah, let's do this. So we're all red now. But I can now try that revelation card. So replace two cards. Let's see what that'll do. Choose cards to redraw. I get to redraw. Alright, no. Ah, the redraw doesn't trigger the enemy effect. Yeah, all right. that would have been too good to be true in the first place. I was already surprised about it in the, to begin with. Now it makes way more sense. All right. But yeah, let's do this. Let's gain some shields. I don't. I do like that. Okay. Why so much armor, my dude? Why so much armor? So I should really think uh, more into a direction where it's bad that uh, when I have full HP, it's bad for me to have full HP. That should be more my motto. Because then I have no incent incentive to heal myself. So. Right on. Apply decay and, uh, alright. Decay is more damage over time. Yeah, more damage over time is totally this guy's cup of tea. So deal damage and apply bleeding. Also, I have the feeling that the red cards are stronger than the blue cards on this guy. Like, uh, numerical values seem to be higher, but maybe I'm, way I'm wrong about that. So... I gotta try that. I have no clue how this card is supposed to work, and I gotta, I gotta learn. Yo, shop, what you got for me? Got ten soul shirts that I can't spend. Well. Corrosion. While corrosion is active, all our bonuses are reduced by the corrosion value. I see. And, uh... Alright. I'm confused, but that's a constant uh, status when I, get, when I go about this game. So we're going to buy ourselves one of these things. Why not? So... Let's create ourselves a new card. Tear Flesh and uh, Break Will. I wanted to try out that one. And... 
well, I don't want to uh, replace any of the double slashes with the uh, bleeding skill. I don't think that would be a wise choice. Alrighty, so... Let's see how are we going to play this out. Sadly, I don't have any of my exciting cards here available right now. But that's okay. So, damage and uh, damage over time, that would be... Hmm. Well, gotta say, I'll rather shield myself a bit. Do that one more time, why not? There we go. The shields. So, break will. I want to try on out what that means. So. What's the laid weakness, gotta say? So, I got the DK. That does make sense. But where's the weakness on the enemy? I, I gotta like, ask myself. Well, too many things on this game are explaining themselves quite badly. That's the first thing that uh, really uh, that really bothers me the most so far. That. Uh, last card for example I, I gotta play it one more time and see what it does read the delayed part again because obviously I misread it somehow so piercing damage breaks armor so I can't go for that the shields are unimpressed by that so tear flesh now that sounds like a fun thing to do to you All right, more decay, decay everywhere. So deal six devouring damage and win. How about that? Good. Confusion is real. So tear flash seems to be pretty decent. I do like uh, this. I want to try out the burning mark thing. It's... So. Let's create that. And do... Oh, there's an elite combat. I don't know if I will... If I'm daring that, actually. Okay, so let's get started. Devouring damage, while well, that would give me back to... <laughs> Shadow Stab. The real interesting part about the uh, Shadow Stab is the fact that uh, it allows me to deal damage through the enemy armor. All bleed stacks go through the enemy armor always, and that's pretty interesting. So I need a shield for uh, that whack there. I don't want to suffer that without shield. So let's double shield this. Why not at this one? Soak up that blow, and soak up that blow. Brilliant. Okay. So, delay three weak. What does... Uh... Delayed effects aren't resolved instantly. Instead, they are triggered during the redraw phase. So... That means whenever I redraw my deck or what? I really don't understand that yet. So, well, 
Another nice shadow step. Mm, so, when does the weakness apply? Because it doesn't apply at all, so far as I can see. Huh, gotta remove that card. Looks like uh, either a bug or. Well, I don't know. That looks really buggy to me because I. This time I'm sure about not having misread anything. This time, I'm sure that I haven't misread anything. So, let's... Stab away. Alright. Hmm. Ah, oh, well, that would use up the impale. I was like uh, gaining that uh, crits, maybe. Well, let's try that. So. Let's try that uh, critical attack thing one more time. Alright. So only one of these was a crit. Hmm. I see. Odd, but whatever. So I'll have to suffer suit through some damage, but I'm taking him down with this with me there. Okay, so first impression: this game is extremely difficult. So, I mean, I don't mind that in a in a good way. <laughs> Steal two of the highest buff. All right, it's actually pretty good. Here, apply to weak. Did I just misread it or stealth? Alright. I think stealth cards are pretty uh nasty. Blur. Character with blur increases its dodge chance to 50% for the next attack. Alright. I see. Okay, so things are not going too well here, but uh, I am getting used to that. So, hmm. we're going to retry that one last time before I ditch it. So, grit. Let's put that instead of that. Because if I understand that, that stealth stuff correctly, it's pretty amazing. Where's my circle of doom again? So, the elite combat, I'll just skip that because I know that the last time I tried that, I totally got beaten into oblivion, so I don't want to suffer that one more time. So, let's see, um, Gutter Devil, apply to weak, let's do this, there we go, delayed three weak, so let's see when that'll, when that'll come, if it'll come, so, Give stab here. Oh, armor. I do like that. <coughs> but where where's that delayed weakness now procking in? When well, gotta monitor that. I mean, there should be at some point three stacks of uh, weakness showing up at some point. Or at least I hope so. Oh, I got grit. Let's try that out. Alright, yeah. Grit cards, are, stealth cards are, as a matter of fact, totally 
stop rocking the enemy. They're amazing. Okay. So definitely want to... Uh, that's the first uh, mechanic that I really want to play around, because it looks pretty spiffy. But uh, the weakness that I've been promised, it just doesn't show up. That sucks, man. Oh. I think that's going to... Uh, that's going to happen one day, sooner or later. So let's see, does bleeding ignore shielding, or does shielding get used up by bleeding? We'll see about that. So I do increase the bleeds. Alright, we got 10 stacks of bleeding, my man. And I ain't got any shields to uh, to soak up that damage, so we're going to go on that uh, card here. Okay then. I don't think we need to hurt that thing too much anymore. So let's see. After playing the card, they lose HP. Alright, so I have to force this thing now to, to play yet another card. It's interesting that uh, bleeding works com completely different on the enemy side than on my, uh, compared to mine. So what happens on a redraw? He's dying, so redraw is extremely potent when you're uh, playing a bleed deck. Alright, things are starting to make a tad bit more sense. Wonderful. So, Wisdom, deal 3 damage, replace 1 card, that's amazing. Deals 3 devouring damage 4 times, yeah, well. I want, uh, I want a tier 3 card, we need. Well, on the positive, I gotta say, it is a pleasure to play a game again that uh, is like what is going on here I don't understand anything at the first glance and the longer you play it the more sense things make that's a pretty cool feeling that I missed a lot in the past so in that regard Nadir could be actually a lot better than uh, than I thought in the first place but gotta say Here's one thing, it doesn't really look too much like an early access at this point. That's a thing that I have to uh, admit there. Hey Bill Flaria, welcome. I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Wonderful day so far. Hope you're having a great day yourself, as great as a Monday can be. So, let's put up some... Wait a second, so... Why does that thing have rage? I noticed that the last time too, but where can I see that effect? Why is that thing enraged? So the first card I played was Impale, but uh, Impale doesn't have any portion that enrages the enemy, right? Right. So that Fly Swarm has some hidden mechanic that gives him extra rage, and I don't know why. <laughs> Uh, because there is no vis visible thing. Is there anything like trait on the enemy that I am overlooking? Hmm. So, well. Uh, early access. Let's take that with a grain of salt, shall we? So, tear flesh. We want to make that stuff bleed. Because bleed is... What a vampire likes to see, I guess. So let's do some blocks. 
four hours of with God of War. Well, that sounds like a great way to spend your Monday, too. I admit. I admit. So, what does burn mean? A card with burn does not go to the discard pile. Sure. That didn't come as a big surprise. So... I mean, probably it is supposed to be that hard early on. Maybe maybe this is intentional. Maybe this is exactly the early game that I'm supposed to suffer through. Probably. Probably. Maybe I'm not even supposed to get further than that without the other upgrades, but uh well. What I do what I do say wholeheartedly is that this game is refreshingly innovative. It's one thing that I really, really admire about what we're seeing here. It's totally different from all the deck builders that I've played in the last few years, and you have to you have to give some credit to that. Because that doesn't happen too often nowadays. You know. Alright, so break will. I'm gonna remove that. This card is obviously bugged. That's the only answer that I got right now. Oh yeah, great. I love those stealth cards. They are feeling like extreme fun. You know? That uh that ability to just act without your enemy acting back on you feels great. Feels like a lot of fun. Right on. So, just like uh, the last time, or just like I thought, the second character is a lot more fun than the first character. But I still have here a very, very similar issue. I feel as if the uh, I have almost no chance of getting that much deeper into the run. So we're going to suffer here obscene amounts of damage one way or another, so let's redraw the hand. Receive 12 damage this way. And uh, this card, these cards flip too. Redraw is a way to reset the cards if you have ever maneuvered yourself into a really crappy situation like I did there. I mean, it ain't uh, it ain't good at, uh, at all. I'm very low on HP, and I think I gotta rather escape before I waste my uh, attempts again. But uh, well, yeah, we're going to go back into uh, I'm going to go back to Nadir, and uh, let's see. I mean, I do see the bottom of the pit by now, but it's again 40 of those resources, and then I'm, uh, then I'm done. <laughs> Alright, so we can now build the Exalted Crypt. There we go. So... Ah, yeah, here. I was probably also the last building that I was able to build with the uh, without any uh, bigger successes as it seems because now yeah we obtain filth from gluttony enemies and we obtain skulls from skull enemies and uh, well, so far we haven't seen any of them so alright we cannot uh, cheat the game Sky is uh, also one that I wanted to play. I do love the artworks of that game. The artworks are really amazing. Altogether, I think once I have uh, finally unpressed my brain about this game, it's uh, also something that's very enjoyable to play. But I gotta say, the, the learning of it is pretty steep. Because this uh, mastering this mechanic here with those cards is hard. That's the first thing that I have to admit to. Myself. <coughs> it is hard to understand how this game is supposed to be really working. There's a lot of things you can do. Lots of uh, ways that you can work here. I want to try out one thing, though. It's been crossing my mind. Yeah, let's block this. It's just a minimal amount of damage, and that makes the impale again uh, interesting again. So let's go for the crits. 
So crits are really only a chance of uh, of dealing double damage. I don't like that. I feel like critical hits should be pro uh, should be uh, guaranteed double damage. This doesn't feel too rewarding this way. All right, so this is now the situation where I just hit the redraw button because eight armor. That's what's happen when you redraw? That's pretty harmless. So instead, we're going to go for more pain. More pain for that little dude. And uh, then... Dumb. Alright. Th things are starting to make sense. But uh, you have really you really have to play with the card flips accordingly. <coughs> so, deal breaking damage. Apply for decay, and it's getting stronger. Oh, I like that. So, how does decay work? Um, a character suffers damage every time it receives damage. Now, that's interesting. So, decay is triggering whenever we deal damage to the enemy. I like that. So, blur is a... Uh, well, let's take that, nevertheless. 50% block chance, that's one of these things where I'm, I'm not a big fan. I don't like to gamble. When I want to uh, when I want to be protected, I like to be protected and not gamble about protection, but whatever. That's just my personal opinion. Okay then. So, this guy will shield himself when I redraw cards. That's a very, very harmless effect. There we go. And, well... Let's see. How do I want to pull this off? Oh, well, let's redraw at this point. Rather get him one, give him one shield than all the other things that could happen now. Okay, so let's use that decay thing. So we broke that shield. And now there's extra damage happening, that's amazing. Very, very useful. All right, Decay is very powerful. Oh, we killed him twice. Right on. Yep, like the artwork of this game is really amazing. There's a lot of love in it. So we're going to go for Rot. Why not? Or, well, Tear Flesh was a lot of fun, too. Wing Slash. That's more Blur. Do I want to play more around Blur? Hmm. Probably. But I want that one too. But I want that one too. Let's stick to decay. Three energy cards are all nice and dandy, but they're also pretty hard to play at the most uh, most of the time. So what did I mean to remove? Yeah, the precision. And I can't because I didn't pick up anything useful there. Whoopsie. Er uh, yeah. Okay then it will have to be as it is. There we go. <coughs> so, what's the matter with you? You want to deal six damage if I redraw cards, and we have one big blow here. Give herself some shields to begin with. And start hurting that guy a bit. Okay, I want to have one shield. And now, well, oh boy, I got the weakening on my hand that I want to have. So we're going to go, go for something like that. I got two shields, so block this. <laughs> and then I'm going to block that. Very good. 
and then let's see let's fill up those pips a bit before we regrow and now we go for the regrow suffering six damage or nine damage because of the dk doesn't really matter too much <coughs> My character is all about getting some damage. Okay, so let's see. Double slash should be now a real nightmare. Because it should trigger twice. Correct. Owie. So, wow. That's something to keep in my mind. That whenever decay is on me, that multi-attacks get a lot stronger this way. Alright, so here's the rot that I wanted. Yeah, the Earth's Grit. Grit is way better. Grit is my uh, preferred variant of seal, so... There we go. Oh, well. So... Yeah, let's create a new card. I want more of these things in my deck. More decay, you know. And multi-hits. So multi-hits we have discovered are also really good with that. Get one damn from a random selection, alright. Oh, 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 relics. The damns are relics. Awesome. So we can choose from Sigmund Freud, Alexander of Macedon, and Ragnar Lodbrok. I, I like the fact that they use only historical characters. That's pretty cool. If your armor is lower than 1 after you redraw, gain 10 armor, that's powerful. Gain precision at the battle of a fight? No, well, no thanks. At the start of the battle, gain counter. No, we're going to go, we're going to roll with Mr. Lodbrok. There we go. Cool. Gulbregulli. Alright, hello there, Mr. Lump of Flesh. So that's how you greet your enemy in your customs. So guy will get 12 armor if I if I draw a card. That's okay for me. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's the weakening that I wanted. So here goes the flip. Grit is played for free because stealth doesn't uh, interact with the enemy cards at all. That's why I'm such a big fan of that effect. So I'm shielded now. Well, that only means I can't go crazy here. We block that. Wonderful. Okay. So deal 9 damage, apply 2 decay, or apply 5 decay. Well, I'm more like that. Okay, some armor for a bad dude, but it doesn't get up far. So I have one double slash open, but not a big fan. Let's fill up those pips here a bit. And uh, I'm actually almost at the end of this one. Huh. It's a tad bit sad that I don't have any way of uh, hurting that guy any further. Huh? Well, gotta draw some cards. It doesn't matter. It makes the fight a tad bit longer, but uh, it's still better than suffering unnecessary damage. So, let's break ourselves through the armor rating there somehow. go oh yeah and then use the impale as the finisher for some bonus hp for free there we go so things are starting to make sense this is the first time that i have a feeling it it works somehow you know so tear flesh and derangement wonderful stuff let's put that into our deck again too i don't know if it's too smart to mix bleed and um and decay, but at the same time, I I gotta ask myself, hell, why not? You know, 
So we don't play around with armor too much. At the end of the day, I think I can work without, hopefully. All right, so my initial doubts about this game are fading away. I'm enjoying myself more and more. Oh, a shop. Oh, I need to complete a combat first, okay. Oh, the swarm of flies again. Yeah, the swarm of flies tr just starts with rage. That's the trick. It uh, it starts with rage, but the rage doesn't get um, calculated into these cards. That's why it always looked as if the uh, dudes had this effect. Oh, yeah, now, now it all starts to make sense. Just like I thought. Right on, then let's uh, hurt those uh, critters. Ow. Well, Alright, actually I'm getting hurt, but uh, that's a completely different story. So, rust is, l is armor loss. Well, actually armor loss doesn't really matter to me too much. Anyways. Let's hurt these. Oh yeah, grit for... Crits for free. I love free crits. Who doesn't love free crits? If you don't love free crits, you're not my friend. Well, it's only a chance of crits, but... That's, by the way, I personally think one of the cheapest things in the game. So, 5 damage 3 times when we go for the card flip. So, alright. We take 15 damage one way or another. I see. So... Might as well shield myself a bit. Now we used up all our actions. Let's go for the redraw. Mr. Lodbrock gives me uh, 10 there. Oh, oh, I think now I got it. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not bugged. The delayed effect is only getting triggered whenever I, I press this button. Duh. Whenever something is delayed, I have to press this button for it to trigger. Now I got it. Now I understand why things didn't make sense to me. Alright, wonderful. So, let's go and uh, push up the DK. Hmm, I got an impale attack. Yeah, let's use that. Sigurd, hey there. So, that's a very, very uh, well-formulated question. I thank you for that. So, first off, I, I was also like, yeah, do we really need another deck builder game? Yeah, that's been uh, one question that I had. But uh, in total, I gotta say, this game takes a different uh, approach at the combat. It's total totally atypical from the other games in that uh, regard you are yes you are killing an enemy every time yes but uh you do manage your deck entirely differently your enemies the whole combat system is absolutely unique there's uh it's not like anything you've seen before in this type of game that's pretty cool so um well oh corrosion would reduce the enemy's ability to shield himself altogether well is it worth it? Well, I'd say yes. Definitely, because it fills the theme. It fills a theme very, very good, and at the same time, it's uh, how to put it. It's a way. It's a different way of playing this kind of game, and in a very, very good way. I have to sink my teeth deeper into it, and if I would be about recommending or not if you are a lover of deck builder games in general if you're like man these games bore me a little bit and i'm looking for something that's not working like slay the spire because it was really good but i would not recommend it to um if you are not too much into the genre if you want to find out if whether or not that genre is your cup of tea, there are other games that do the trick better. Mostly because this game has some very complex mechanics. And uh, I personally consider myself a card play geek. I'm I'm not really good at these or something like the, uh, like that. I want to say, I don't want to say that I'm a pro gamer or anything like that, but I enjoy that uh, genre thoroughly. And I gotta say for me, this is great, but it's still really, really putting nuts into my brain because the complexity of this uh, combat system is 
completely different. I feel like I'm relearning the genre. So yes, it's pretty good. It's really pretty good. I don't kind of like deck games. It's not just another Slate of Spire, no. Absolutely not. Here you... Um, the biggest difference that I see already is that Slay the Spire is a lot about um, taking very long turns and building up very complex decks and the things. This game is very minimalistic. My deck is only consisting out of 9 cards or, or right now, and something like 10 or 12 cards would be already a, a fat deck, you know. So the enemy has altogether 6 different abilities, 3 blue, 3 red, and it's all way more compact but more entangled in itself, in a pretty good way. Like, uh, the more I play it, the more I like it. That's all I can say so far. Right on. So, let's go for... Decay. More Decay. For example, here it is very important with this game that you know that uh, you are controlling the enemy's movement. The enemy will only do what's on the card as soon as these pips are filled. Every action is filling the pips. So it's about you to time the enemies or, or you, you have to work with the cards you got and uh, try to to work around the enemy's reaction and the like. It's pretty cool. I really, really enjoy what this game does. So... Oh yeah, derangement. Let's weaken that guy. So now in this situation I could either play a card to activate one of these, or I just redraw. So he does shield himself now. That's the card he plays instead. And all the cards here get flipped over and we reset the round. I personally consider this more or less like an end turn uh, button. Or that's my first impression. I'm starting to get behind the, <laughs> that. Starting to get behind the mechanics here. So, breaking damage will ignore my shields. That is a very good question. You, you are asking really good questions. First off, Inscription I haven't played, and I think we won't be a... or I have seen enough reviews to know what Inscription does. So, no. Don't compare this to Inscription. No, 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 no. This is more like a game for uh, deck builder um, aficionados, I think. Whereas Inscription is multi-genre in a way, well, the dude behind Inscription is something else. I, I checked out his work and uh, I mind that I, I mean that in a very, very uh, positive way, you know. This guy is just a crazy fella that has some very artsy way of doing his stuff. Alright, let's get ourselves one shield, so I have that stuff too. I personally think one problem this game might have is that the complexity level is too high to appease the masses. That's my personal uh, pro uh, that's my personal first impression here so far, which is quite tragic considering that uh, you know there's always this discrepancy between uh, economic uh, success and. Uh, and creating a truly cool and innovative uh, game. That's a very ungrateful job. I admire game devs for that, but this game's going down a really good way. It reminds me a lot about the Project uh, Project Moon work, like uh, games like um, Library of Ruina, for example. Library of Ruina is a totally unique piece of art that is completely different to uh, what we're uh, what we're seeing uh, before in the past oh they keep their pips so there's no cheating there boy I'm so stupid <laughs> <laughs> all right and then there's no stop it's non-stop learning okay so uh, here see whenever I think I have understood the game <laughs> it does that always to me all right Let's face the fact that I got rogue. Well, I don't have shields, so this fight will hurt me terribly one way or another. 
I just, uh, again, thought that I know how this game works, and I was like, no, you don't, my friend, you don't. Here, take some pain. Alright. So, let's take the pain. Mm, I gotta deal 11 damage to that thing somehow. Then we're out. But I don't think I'll be able to do this. So let's take 10 damage instead. Well, I don't know. I have read somewhere, Sigurd, that uh, a lot of the uh, comp indie companies nowadays are really, really struggling with their releases. But uh, the thing here is, what you're saying is certainly true for all those Kickstarter project funded uh, games, where there's more like... It's not so much about financial success for Kickstarter projects, it's more like uh, realizing what the community had in mind when they wanted to realize that, which is amazing. And if I remember correctly, Nadir was also a uh, Kickstarter-funded project. But what I gotta really say, this game is really hard. That's uh, one thing that's... Uh, that's crossing me, uh, crossing my mind the whole time. This game is really hard. So my domination stat limits the number of damned, and so I cannot have as many as I want of these dudes. Eh? Hmm, too bad. But I do like that system, this allows them to make more crazy and more overpowered dudes and less powerful dudes. That's pretty good. So I see very, very, very solid foundations on this game. It's very well thought through. There's only good things so far that I'm noticing. The only downside is uh, truly in its complexity. <laughs> I hate to say that like this, that it's a downside. But, uh... I'm about to take a break from this game because I need to unpretzel my brain again. That's one thing that really, uh, that I really noticed about this one, that, uh... I feel in a... I feel like I'm in a constant, uh, state of confusion with this game, and that's really... Well, once it wears off, I think I'll have a lot of fun, but until it wears off... We gotta get there, eh? So, let's gain some shields. This guy is rocking the counters. Whenever I attack him now, he'll attack back. So, let's uh, give him some weakness so the attack back thing doesn't hurt me that much. And, uh, yeah. Decay. More counters. Erase the highest buff on the enemy side. Alright. Deal four damage two times. Well, the double strike things are now also quite cursed. Because you now counter. Alright, let's grid ourselves. I do love stealth cards. And let's see. Yeah. Get into uh, counter attacks into my face there. Just like I thought. Alright, I, I think I just have to accept that this guy just uh, strikes back whenever I want to hurt him. So we need more blue cards here. So, let's go for that. Well, I certainly know one thing, Sigurd, that I don't want to be a game dev nowadays. Gotta say, that sounds like one of the most ungrateful jobs on this planet. Ow! 20 damage. Screw you. Ugh. Hate it when I have to uh, go through this, but I don't know how I should do differently. So this is where I again notice that I'm not strong enough for this game. 
so there goes the counters. I probably should have brought um, Power 3 cards more at this point, eh? Probably one of my uh, mistakes that I did there. Or maybe that counter dude is just a nightmare for my deck and it's just uh, clapping me to, uh, to no end. So... Well, let's create ourselves a uh, power 3 card. Probably that was a mistake all along. Oh gosh, I pressed the wrong button. No. I thought this was the one where I'm uh, getting to reconstruct my deck. Rotten Intestines. Hmm. Breaking damage, piercing damage, raw damage. Well, okay. Let's see what we can do. That's quite a lot of damage incoming there. Altogether, these rotten intestines are uh, all about hurting me a lot, eh? Well, I'm looking more uh, at this from a econom uh, economical standpoint uh, point of view, Sigurd. So, it, I think we both have a point there. I, I see your standpoint more from a creative perspective, and I totally agree with you there. There's nothing worse than shallow, forgettable games that are down the gutter next month. I, I, I hear you. Like, that's uh, so terrible nowadays. We have so many, 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 many games nowadays that uh, come out every month, every week. I I only uh, cater a certain uh, a certain bandwidth of different games and uh... ah I see that's um, that, that that explains a lot so I, I'm only catering a, a certain narrow bandwidth of things and I already feel like I'm struggling to cover everything that I want to cover you know but merely the things that I want to cover. I don't even get started on the things that uh, that are going around and uh, I feel like I should be covering. So I think also that I'm going to die here. <laughs> so, just so you know, yeah, there's not much escaping here anymore. But, uh, well, let's try. That's 18 damage, that's 24 damage. Goodbye, cruel world. It's been a blast. So yeah, I, I personally am still working on a own uh, iteration of a uh, pen and paper um, or rule set, so I know your pain. So my dear friends, I'll leave it at this point because I have, again, the urge to unpretzel my brain a bit. I hope you enjoyed your uh, first impression with that, on that game with me, and uh, if you liked that stream, drop me a comment down below, a thumbs up would be appreciated, and a subscription to the channel if you haven't done so already. So, also in the description box, there's uh, links to Discord and Twitter. I announce all my streams there, so if you want to catch the next one, you can do that, or you just do the bell thing on YouTube so you stay informed. Apart from that, check out the support links. There is Patreon, Paypal, and buy me a coffee as ways and means to support this channel, and I'd be delighted if you'd give them a look. So everybody, I thank you for the jolly good time. I hope this helps you to give an impression, to have an impression on this game, and uh, yeah, hope to see you all again. Bye-bye.